What is going on guys, Hypocrisy here, and probably one of the last Medal of Honor videos I'll do, as we've only got a couple of days left of the uh, beta. But uh, I really wanted to do a video on sniping, because um, I've unlocked Still one now ladies. in this game, so I just kind of wanted to um, show the mechanics of it in this game, and how it's different from other first person shooters. Just to pre-warn you, I'm not going to do very well. It's um, One thing I will say about it is it's extremely difficult, um, which is excellent. Uh, I, I could only wish that sniping on Call of Duty was as hard as it is in this game because uh, my favourite game mode on Call of Duty, Search and Destroy, would be a l much better place. Got a hit marker there. Come on baby, peek. We got another hit marker. So this is what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll start with the, the one shot kills. The one shot kills only really come if you get a head or a neck shot. Perhaps top chest, but you've got to be pretty lucky. Um, you can see there when I was shooting that guy that I got a couple of hit markers, and those were kind of like uh, chest shots. So, so I've been talking about this with my mate Chubstep, as you may well know. And apparently, the enemies glow red like that um, because they're the person that killed either you or the person in your fire team. Um, when you're on a team in this game, you get broken up into separate fire teams. So that was another assist there. And that, to me, probably wouldn't have been a kill on... There we go. We're off the mark. <laughs> Let's get a mine in there. Oh, boom. Lovely little kill with that proximity mine. See, that took two shots then, and I was relatively close. Let's get into cover. So what I'm trying to do is work a little kill streak so I can call in my mortar. Oh, that guy was waiting for me. <laughs> well played, that sir. That sir, young sir. <laughs> right, so let's let's body spawn. Okay, where are we? Okay, so. I've unlocked a kill streak. I think I've got three in a row. Or well, I think the assist count. Um, similar to the, the way identified. the new Black Ops will, I guess, with like a store, st store streak, a score streak. I don't know what's up with my speech today. Alright, so this is a switchblade UAV, and it goes up in the air like this, and you basically can search for the enemies. And then when you found one, you can call it in like that and hopefully kill someone, but I didn't because I'm rubbish. <laughs> that was a bit of a fail, right? So one thing you will, well, one thing you will notice about the sniper rifles as I'm sort of moving through the map is the ADS speed is so much different to other Call of Duty's. Damn, I missed that guy. Um, if you just watch now, look how slow it aims down sight. Um, that's just me. It really takes a long time to um, to sort of get to the full end of the scope. So, there's none of that quick scoping bullshit that you get on, on Modern Warfare 3, um, or any of the Modern Warfares to be fair. Oh, <laughs> get owned! So you can see here, my secondary on this class is, I think it's the G18, um, and it's really effective, um, even at sort of medium range for a machine pistol. Just like that. Owning at man's. Right, let's fall back because we're taking the shots. Am I dead? What's going on here? What's happening? Oh, <laughs> there it is. Maybe that was a mortar that landed on me. Alright, so this game's not going too badly. Um, let's try and spawn in if I can. Right, here we go. Okay, so yeah, the slower ADS speed is definitely something that I wish they had on Call of Duty. That would have been a great kill if I got that. Um, it just make when you've got a sniper rifle, um, the idea is that you're at a disadvantage anyway. 
So to be able to run around freely on Call of Duty and pick people off, quick scoping, no scoping, it's just ridiculous. And I know these are different games, um, so before I get too much into the debate of which game is better, um, this game's supposed to be, I guess, more realistic. Um, which is why some people prefer it, some people don't. Personally, I like both approaches, but I just hate the sniping on Modern Warfare games. Um, I loved it on Black Ops, and hopefully we'll love it on the new Black Ops, but quite frankly, on Modern Warfare, it's just insane. Ouch. And it should be hard to snipe. Um, you know, the, the, the principles of trick shots and no scopes, uh, in my eyes, are just ridiculous. Um, so for me, you should be at a disadvantage when. Oh, this is. I need to. I need to fall back because I'm spawning in fucking hell right now. Right. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we can't go that way. So it's a bit of a shame that I'm not going to be able to play this after three more days, because um, I'm really getting into it. Um, but I suppose that's the whole concept of the... I the... oh, was really slow to react then. That was embarrassing. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm quite gutted that I'm not going to be able to play any more of this. Uh, it's a really good game. Um, it's really competitive. It's really intense as well. I, I love the game mode that they put on the beta. Um, kind of with the three objective points that you have to destroy or defend. Um, it's really cool, it, and it plays really nice. Um, kind of wish they would have given us an additional map, but again, it's a beta, so they're not going to give away too much. But uh, all in all, I definitely recommend this to anyone. Come on, guy, you're going to peek. Oh, he's going to smash me in the face. Says you're right, Chrissy boy. <laughs> That's another interesting point there, actually. I move back into cover. Um, on this game, your health doesn't regenerate. Uh, really fast like it would on like Call of Duty say so if you're going to regenerate you've got to really go and hide for a long period of time and uh, it's really weird to get used to because you know you, you go into cover like I just did when you've got a guy at long range expecting to kind of recharge and then if you peep, peep again you haven't regenerated then you're on like 20% health anyway so any shots are going to This is going terribly as the game's going on. Um, oh, so apologies, it's not making for a great gameplay, but um, it's more to talk about the mechanics of sniping. Even though I haven't got that many sniping kills, because I did say I wouldn't be that great here, but um, it's more just to kind of s highlight my opinions in sniping. And it's a it's a wide debate across first-person shooters, and it's not really much point talking about Call of Duty, but I have to compare it to that because that's the game that I love and I play more than anything. So. It's nice to come onto a game where the mechanics of chase that guy down. <laughs> that took me a while. Jeez, I'm actually not able to build on uh, any kind of kills at the moment. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, as far as sniping goes, you wouldn't really pick this map um, to do it on. So I'm going to blame that. <laughs> but yeah, so... Again, guy camping in the fucking doorway. Dick. Don't be a pussy, man. Come out and fight. Alright, so we're going to fall back and we're going to call in a switchblade UAV. That didn't go according to plan. Again, missed the kill on the Switchblade UAV. Trying to spawn in. I don't like how it takes ages to do that. It kind of winds me up.
try and work out where they are. Push around this flank. Get owned. I love the melee on here, it's so aggressive. Ugh. Oh. So once again guys, apologies that this isn't a uh, amazingly great gameplay to show you. Uh, I'm going to try and get a couple more sniper kills before uh, the time runs out. But uh, it's easier said than done. But that's what I like. I mean, I'm not a prolific sniper. I'm not on Call of Duty either. It's not something I'm really used to. Well, I'm taking shots from all over the place. Yeah, I can fucking hear him. Well, that was that. We won. I don't really know how, um, but I didn't do too great. Um, I hope it kind of showed you what sniping was like. I know I didn't get that many kills, but it is quite difficult, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, as always, drop me a like, uh, add to your favourites, whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and add to your favourites. In the right-hand corner, you'll see the uh, logo of my channel. Click on that to subscribe. Uh, and you can also view my latest video. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Twitter while you're there. See you again soon. Peace.